Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no 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 fucking way, boy. Tomato <laughs> called out Shakur. Then when he got the Shakur fight, he turned it down and said he's not available to fight. And then he messed around and, and schedules another fight in November. So yeah, man, you know, let y'all tell it, man. I'm just, I'm just giving you all the facts. I have nothing against Zapata. I actually like Zapata, but this is a duck. If you're gonna call anybody in 2024 a duck, it should be William El Camarón El Plato Zapata. Plato, the play? Nah, I, I meant Pato El Pato the duck. If I tell you I'm good, probably you'll say I'm awesome. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So I'm outside right now. Well, I'm in the I'm in the patio, the back porch, because it's, you can probably hear it, the thunder. You know, I like to usually be outside, but it's raining, so <laughs> I ain't trying to get wet. You know what I'm talking about? What do you mean by that? Um, but yeah, man, so I want to drop some news on y'all, man. We reported this earlier that William Zapata will, be, will indeed be returning this year on November 16th. But the, but the video where I dropped before, we weren't sure if it was going to be against uh, George Cambosis or his adversary was going to be Tevin Farmer. Um, but now, according to reports, they have uh, decided to go with Tevin Farmer. And this makes sense, like we said before, you know, William Zapata versus George Cambosis would definitely, undoubtedly be the bigger fight, you know, as a, as William Zapata, you know, he represents Mexico, up and coming Mexican star, you know, mandatory in all four divisions, at, at, at all four sections and bodies um, for the lightweight division, you know, uh, number one in WBA, WBC, WBO, or IBF. Um, and George Cambosis being a former champion in that same division, you know, and having Australia behind him, that's undoubtedly the bigger fight, you know, probably generate the most revenue um, and, and create the most buzz. But Tevin Farmer, though, you know, if reports are true about Cepeda actually wanting to fight Shakur, you know what I'm saying? He'd been calling out Shakur for the longest, even before the Maxi Hughes fight and and uh, and even after the Maxi Hughes fight. And then when Shakur obliged him, he uh, he turned it down. You know, he's really like the biggest duck in boxing right now. Yeah. Um, but we ain't going to talk about that. We're going to say that for a little bit later. Um, you know, he'll be fighting um, Tevin Farmer, who, and the reason why that makes more sense is because Tevin Farmer is a slick fighter. You know, he put on a good show against Raymond Murotala in a very close fight where he came up short. But it was a very, a very, a very close fight. And so if the reports are true that he's fighting Shakur, then it will make more sense stylistically for him to fight Tevin Farmer, as Tevin Farmer will prepare him in a be much better fashion for Shakur than a fight against Cabosas would. I'm not saying either one of them are as good as Shakur. <laughs> But as far as styles go, you know, styles make fights. And if you're trying to prepare for 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 an upcoming battle next year, good Lord willing, in February, like reports say, um, for, with Shakur, then Tevin Farmer's style is definitely closer to Shakur than Kebosa's style. So that makes sense. Now, however, you know, um, this is cool. The date is November 16th. But according to Eddie Hearn, if you remember, like you've been paying attention to boxing, um, you know, uh, he is, he's disappointed. And he should be disappointed because William Zapata is the reason why we're getting Shakur versus Joe Cordina. A lot of you uh, conveniently forget or just or just um, choose not to acknowledge or, you know, or, or, or just act oblivious to the fact that Shakur and Zapata are supposed to fight even with... Um, Turkey Alashik and Oscar De La Hoya coming to a, an agreement in the live broadcast right in front of us all during Virgil Ortiz versus Serhi Boachuk. We want to see Shakur and Zabida. Yes. William Cepeda versus Shakur Stevenson on the same card. Let's do it. Bullshit. 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 You know, so now with Shakur, even though people are disappointed, including myself, that he's fighting Joe Cordina. No disrespect to Joe Cordina. He's a former champion in a smaller weight division, you know, um, despite coming off of a loss, his, his first loss, you know, uh, his last fight. Was, uh, he suffered a stoppage loss, but you know it happened to Fedor, right? Fedor was a late replacement um, against Tim Zhu, coming off a stoppage loss to Brian Mendoza, and he and he messed around and won. He messed around and won, and now he has two belts at 154 WBC and WBO. So it's, this is this type of situation is not unheard of. This is not a um, um, this is not in like a, a, a one time isolated event. You know this happens. So, but the fact is still we want Shakur to be in tough matchups and and matchups where we would seemingly appreciate his fighting style because you know the knock on him is that he's boring Sorry. but i think eddie hearn picking joe cordina was a was a was a was a last second pivot similar to what fedora was granted there was no injury but yeah so so fedora i mean uh, according to eddie hearn zapata 
uh, told them that he was not available to fight September, October, or November due to the birth of his family, of, of a child. You know, congratulations to him. You know, um, so he had a new addition to his family. So congratulations, congratulations to the Cepedas. But if you're going to say that's the reason why you're not going to fight, and then you turn around and actually fight in the same months <laughs> that you said you weren't available, that's obviously a duck. I tell you, every day that I've been there's nothing, there's no way, form or fashion or, or other way to shape it. So, you know, it's just funny how people conveniently get mad at people ducking. Like you hear all the hoopla about Brian Norman and Boots Ennis not making uh, not making the unification fight. People are mad about that. But Stady Onis didn't make the unification fight with Boots either. He's been there longer. He said the same thing, that he wasn't getting enough money, right? But people don't care about that. They just care about Brian Norman. And, and, and it's funny, people are mad that Tank and Shakur are fighting. Well, last time I checked, Lomachenko and Tank were in talks, and Lomachenko doesn't want to fight. Yeah. And then Lomachenko and Shakur, you know, they, they, they were on the same um, promotional company, and Shakur's been calling out Lomachenko. He even wore a shirt after his last fight of being an Artem Harata Union saying he wants Lomachenko. Yeah. But no one's mad at that. But at least Lomachenko said he doesn't want to fight for the rest of uh, 2024. He doesn't want to, fight, want to fight again for the duration of 2024. And he said he'll come back in 2025. Now, I respect that because he didn't say that and then pop up with another fight. That's what Zepeda did. Zepeda called out Shakur. Then when he got the Shakur fight, he turned it down and said he, he's not available to fight. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. And then he messed around and, and schedules another fight in November. So yeah, man. So let y'all tell it, man. I'm just, I'm just giving you all the facts. I have nothing against some Peter. I actually like some Peter, but this is a duck. If you're gonna call anybody in 2024 a duck, it should be William El Camarón El Plato. Zapeta. Plato. The play? You dumbass. Nah, I, I meant Pato. El Pato. The duck. Stop playing with me, man. The duck. Yeah, man, I appreciate y'all rock with me as always, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Are you excited for uh, uh, Sh uh, Shakur versus Cordina? Are you a little more sympathetic for Shakur and Cordina? Uh, now that we see Zepeda who turned down the fight, he's having another fight ducking. You know, are you excited for Zepeda versus Tevin Farmer? I think that'd be a good fight, man. I think Tevin Farmer um, is going to prepare Zepeda at the very least for Shakur. Um, um, and I think Tevin Farmer can showcase his skills. You know, he's coming up. He's going... Big salute to Tevin Farmer as well if this fight actually is true because he'll go from fighting Raymond Muratala, a top-ranked prospect, to fighting Zapata, a golden boy. I want to call him a prospect, but he's the number one mandatory, you know, future champion we, we, we anticipate. So shout out to Tevin Farmer for taking all the tough battles. Big salute, and I wish him the best, man. You know, I like Zapata more as a fighter, but in this fight, if it's true, due to the circumstances surrounded, I will be rooting for Tevin Farmer for sure, man. Hold it down. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Don't forget to like the video, but most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.